Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So I am in Universal City Walk right now because I want to go check out the new Legacy store that opened up like maybe a couple days ago, a week ago, but I've never been in it yet. So let's go and check it out. So as I first come to the entrance of the store, you see the gargoyles. Look, look at his claws. Oh, this is so cool. And then when I walk right into the front of the store, they have a lot of the retro universal merch, even over here. And they still selling all these um, face coverings like Jaws and Earthquake and uh, the cups. And isn't this robot from one of the rides that I've seen? Oh man, look at this. Oh, look at all the props on the Jaws. I miss the Jaws ride. So they have the Jaws ride grenade launcher. This is pretty cool. I remember riding this many, many, many years ago when it was here at the time. I really miss it. I really miss these old classic movie rides. And Jaws t-shirt. Oh. Wow. So this is a map of what it, where it used to be and what it was when they had it many years ago. They even have Jaws socks. I mean, I would never wear this, but if you're a Jaws fan, I think you would really appreciate all this stuff. Oh, even a throw, a Jaws throw blanket. And then this is all the E.T. stuff. Oh, if you look at the very, very top, look, it's the um outfit that, uh, from Back to the Future, what Doc wears. Ooh. All these ET props. What's in here? So this is a replica of the Proton packs used in the HHN Tribute Store. My glare from the flash. Oh, and then one of my other favorite rides, the Back to the Future. Stuff. This is the outfit from the Terminator ride. When they, I mean, not ride, sorry. I meant show. The Terminator 3D show. This is the costume and the guns, the grenades and stuff like that. Oh. And this is a replica from the Jaws movie Okra Barrel. Whoa. What is this? It says it's from the back of the future. Look at the ET ride vehicle model. Whoa. I like how the, the screens right here it shows stuff from the old movie rides. And it just keeps on moving. That's pretty cool. Look, look at the screen. So at the very top, it's one of the team members' um, outfit when they had the Jimmy Neutron ride, which is now the um, the minion that replaced it. But that's what it looked like—the Jimmy Neutron team member wardrobe. Look at the egg. Uh, it looks like the dinosaur is about to come out of it. Oh, it's cracked. Whoa. This is so cool. I'm glad what they did to this store. But everything in here is so cool and amazing to look at. There's sets from the Mummy Ride, which is also one of my favorite rides here at Universal. See? Look inside this wooden case right here. See, it says Egyptian prop set pieces. And then what's over here? Tropical prop set pieces from the Simpson ride from 2008 to present. The projection system uses four overlapping 4K resolution projection at each dome using custom made semi circular fish eye lenses to project on distorted images at a rate of 60 frames per second. Wow. I 
<laughs> Some more costumes and props and masks. More from the Despicable Me Minion Studio from 2012 to present. It's a really neat prop, which I didn't know. So the, you see on the payphone how they have the blood splashes on there? This is actually from one of the Halloween Horror Night houses. It says a prop payphone used in various HHM houses. Very interesting. I didn't know that. That's so cool. Oh, but look at this, guys. Oh man! Oh, remember when I rode the earthquake ride a long, long time ago? So they have the vehicle one, the vehicle prop right here from earthquake. I remember riding that and seeing the water come down. Oh, I miss those days. Oh, look at this huge castle model in this case right here. Oh my goodness! Whoa! This is really cool. I really, really like the theming in here. And then right behind me is the same ride that they used to ride Hagrid's. And they put it in the display in this box right here. This is the exact same beacle. Wow. See? Hagrid's motorbike for when the from the grand opening celebration. Very interesting. Really cool. Is it? So the brand new Universal Studio Souls is finally open. Last time I came here, all the construction walls were up, but they're gone. So let's go check it out. I love the new signage up here. So let's walk. And then I like how on the bottom of the floor, they have Universal printing right here. Oh, wow. It's so fancy. Look at this, guys. Man, they have all the plushes in like one corner right here. And this is my favorite because I love Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is so cute. They even have Hello Kitty in the little jaws. Hello Kitty plushes over here. And then they have a whole row of t-shirts on this section. So like they have one that says vacay mode, wizard and mom, dad, like a little bit of everything. This is pretty cool. As we walk toward the middle of the store now, I like how in the top of the ceiling they have that moving screen up there. That's uh, pretty neat. Look at that. So you can see blue coming out on the moving screen up there. And then this is the cash area area where you pay when you're done getting all your merch from the from the store. Oh. Now we're gonna walk to the other room. I like the fact that this big new Universal store has three rooms. So like the, the room that we're currently in right now is all Harry Potter themed. It's pretty cool. So I gotta show you guys around this place from the front. So they have all the houses where for, for the Harry Potter section all divided into different Part. So like you have Gryffindor, you have Slytherin, you have Hufflepuff, you got Ravenclaw. What is your house, guys? Like mine, I am Gryffindor, which is this one right here. I like it. Not only, I'm not only happy that it, I am that because it's my favorite color red, but it's just cool. And then as we walk over here against this wall, like see, I have robes and stuff. So basically, you can get everything that's in the parks here. Ooh, I like the skirt. Really like neat. And this pillow is really nice. I really like this pillow. I wonder how much it is. Yeah, I don't know how much. Oh, here's a tag right here. Twenty-nine dollars. And oh, look at this section of the wall. This is pretty neat. So they have a bunch of different wands. So like this fireball is sixty-five dollars. But look at all the different section of wands that they have here. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's check. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that mask. Oh man. That checkerboard. Woo! Four hundred dollars. Whoa! Look at that 
slithering sand fiends. $160. I like how they display all the ones over here too. I think this is pretty neat. And this little wooden thing. So they have all kind of different ones and it just moves so you can see the different kinds. It's pretty nice. Which one would you guys get? Oh, so they have more displayed on here. Does it really matter if you buy it from Batman Alley? I also, I really like the wallpaper on the wall and the and the chandelier. Oh, not chandelier. What do you call that? Lightning on the top. Look at the above us. I think it's really well themed. So I'm now in Universal and oh my God, it's so crowded. If you see Shrek at a 60 minute wait, that's bad. I mean, I know Minions is usually a bad wait. Oh man. Um, I'm gonna probably try some stuff for Mardi Gras because it's still, like I said, it's extended till April 11th. So I'm going to enjoy some time a bit before it ends. All the years that I've been coming to Universal, you know what? I have never tried a Flamey Mo, so let's go in. There's no wine. I'm like surprised for a weekend. So Vincent, who I normally, I know you guys normally see him at the other bar, Shouts called Alcaraz. I have seen him making me the Flamey Mo's here in um, the Simpsons Lab. This is really cool. This is a non-alcoholic drink. So what exactly is in the flaming molds? A lot of secrets, you can't talk about it. <laughs> oh, it's an orangey citrusy style soda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, it's so bubbly. It's like an orange soda. It's so refreshing. It's good. Wish you could add some like rum or something in it. <laughs> First time having a flaming molds. Cheers. <laughs> So my experience at the at getting the flamey mold was really cool. I like the little the little bubbly thing that they put inside a cup. And I didn't know after you're done drinking it, you get to keep this little souvenir cup. I thought that was really cool. So if you ever go inside there and you see my um, friend Vincent working at the bar, just tell him Liz sent you because he's the best. He excellent. He's an excellent um, bartender and great service and it's, it's a fun little room to go into and in, if you're in the um, Simpsons land area which I usually never like to try new things I'm weird I usually just stick to my same routine but it's always good to like explore and try either new foods or drinks or rides or shows or something just to you know do something different because you never know if you're gonna end up liking it kind of like what I did today I was like, I would, out of all these years of coming here, I've never expected to try a flaming mold. I'm like, what the hell is a flaming mold? But even though, like I said, it didn't include alcohol, it was still a really cool drink. Like I said, it was similar to like drinking a orange soda. So I definitely recommend going inside there. So from the Columbia booth, I had got the beef arepas, which is this item right here. It includes corn meal cake filled with beef mayo ketchup and cilantro so i've never had this before so i'm like excited to try this it looks really good it's kind of really messy but i like it it's a it's nice and hot and it's not spicy or anything <laughs> so tonight in City Walk, I have dinner reservations here at Diva. I've never eaten at this restaurant before and I was craving some Italian so I was like, um, let's go check out this place and have dinner. So my reservation time is ready to go inside Vivo. To get the menu, you would have to scan this QR code and then it pops up this menu right here. So they have these appetizers right here at Vivo. So Matt, my server is gonna be making my chocolate martini. Beautiful. Take it easy. <laughs> it goes. Oh. No drop left behind. I <laughs> look so good. Oh man. <laughs> Normally when I go to an Italian restaurant, I usually like to order pasta 
because my favorite dish is like a chicken farm but my server was recommending me getting the lamb shank because he's like it's a seasonal dish it's not going to be here all the time whenever you want to come back and try it so you might as well take advantage and try it right now so what it comes with is potatoes and a big lamb shank on this bone like whoa so let's hope it's good and <laughs> dig in whoa as soon as I put my fork on it, the meat just falls literally right off the bone. Wow, it's so tender and soft. But, so I'm trying this with the potatoes at the same time. dinner at vivo it was amazing like service was great matt was funny um i'm kind of glad i took his recommendation and got the lamb shank it's something i don't usually order when i go to italian restaurants I'm, like i said earlier i'm used to ordering the same thing like pasta but it was good and it was like i said you can't just get that all year round it's a seasonal item um and I, it was actually a really good day the weather was nice i'm surprised to like get in the parks with it wasn't even at capacity i was surprised for a weekend it wasn't that bad well i didn't care for the rides really for today but i was like shocked it wasn't too 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 bad um um and i was able to check out the two stores the Le universal legacy store and the new big universal store which was so cool walking through them and um be able to go to the colombian booth in universal to for the mardi gras item and had the the beef arepas that was really good also um and this day has been perfect like the way i expected it to be and, and more but um overall if you guys enjoy this video give me a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and i'll see you on the next adventure bye something that i did forgot to mention earlier only because like i was rushing um is that like even though i had reservations like them still wait, make me wait 30 minutes to get a table. I was like, what's the point of having a reservation and you still have to wait that long? But anyways, and also the the pricing for my food was about, let's see, the lamb shank was $26. The chocolate martini was about $14. But keep in mind, you do get an annual pass discount though. So if you make sure you tell your server before the bill comes so he can give you a discount on it. Um, The food was okay. It wasn't like the best. I know I said earlier it was good, but it was because, you know, I don't normally order that at a Italian restaurant. But I felt like the quality wasn't the best Italian because it's, I felt like, you know, it was the hype. It didn't live up to the hype, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't the best. And that's like something I would keep going back to over and over again. I wonder if you guys have ate at Vivo before and liked it or loved it or you didn't like it i'm just curious because it was my first time and it was new that's why i wanted to try it and to try something different than what i normally you know usually would get but yeah <laughs>